So my name is Joshua and I've been a day trader for 10 years. And today we're going to be looking at Genius Group Limited, okay, GNS. We're going to be looking at GNS and doing a quick research on this company. It's a meme stock. And so I would like to look at it and let us know if this is a stock that is good for the long term. And you can also learn how to do stock research based on this. Okay. So you can see that we have it pulled up. This is Ameritrade. Okay. So we have it pulled up right here. And we're going to do quick research on it to see if it's going to be viable for the long term. So the first thing I usually do when I start doing stock research on the stock is I go to the overview. Can you see the overview right there? I pull it up and I look. So it's on the Amex exchange. It opened at 98 cents. Closed yesterday at $1.04. Cents. The day's range today is 85 cents to 90, 99 cents, basically. Volume is 1.7 million. The average volume is 1.14 million. And the most important thing I do is I go to the 52 week range. So this is a mean stock. So it went from 30 cents to $11 or $12 approximately. And so imagine those who wrote it from 30 cents up all the way to $11. The volatility is 217%. The market cap is 21 million and the shares outstanding is 24 million. The earnings per share, there's no earnings per share. This is a red flag. When a company does not have any earnings per share, that's a red flag for me when I'm trading. And I don't usually go long term with stocks that don't have an earnings per share uh, figure readily available okay it's not paying any dividends yet and let's go all the way down here so you can see down here you can see that the percentage held by institution is 1.72 that is a red flag it means that basically the hedge funds, pensions, and all the big players in the stock market are not interested in this stock. Usually when the percentage held by institution is very high, it means that hedge funds, pension plans, a lot of big players in the stock market are interested in the stock because they have positions there right now this does not look good it means that institutions are not interested in this stock okay the short interest is 11.59 percent as you can see right there so that's the first thing i look at when i'm doing stock research okay so the next thing i look at I go to the news. Okay, the most recent news is that uh, they announced their revenue growth for 2022 and they in it increased by 119% in re relative to the previous year. Okay, so if the revenue increased by 119%, why is the stock not moving up? That's why that's when you go you go more into it. 
okay? This might be the reason. So he had a net loss of 55.3 million in 2022 compared to net loss of 4.5 million in 2021. So basically, this stock, that it, the, the losses are increasing. So even though the re revenue is growing, losses are increasing. So that is not good, okay? That is not good. So that, that's probably why the stock is not moving. Because if, if, if this was good news, this stock should have probably been at $1, two, uh, $2 or $3 by now. Okay? And I looked through some of the other news. Um, I guess they're going... This stock, one thing about this stock, this stock has had a shorting problem. Apparently, the CEO thinks that um, naked shorts are, you know, bombarding his stock. And so... They, uh, I guess he's moving his stock um, trading to a different platform where it can't be shorted. But still, this did not make the stock move. So it just means that, you know, investors are not interested in this stock. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Look at this news. So Genius Group gets NYSC notice of non-compliance with continued listing standards. So this this stock has it's been in trouble basically. It's in it's in it's in trouble of being delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. That's a big red flag. Usually when companies get here, it's only a matter of time before they before they actually get delisted. Or they they tank all the way down to the you know to the ten cents twenty cents. Sometimes to try to do a reverse stock split to get back to the two and three dollars, but that is not a good look for investors anyway. Okay, so I'll go back to the overview. The next thing I look at is the chart okay so this is a six month chart see we're in in january of 2023 it went all the way from that 30 cents and it went up to it went up to seven dollars and then it came back down let's look at the one year chart so July of last year, it actually went up to 11. That's when it went up to 11, came back down, and then it went up to 7 and came back down again. But as you can see, if you look at the chart, you can see there is a downward progression. From all the way down there, came down, they try to come back up, no, went down, came back up a little bit, and then it's going down. So, I would not recommend this stock long term. This is not a stock that you buy and hold for the long term. I would say maybe because it's very volatile, if it's moving, maybe you can grab a few dollars here and there in profits. But, I don't see this company doing too well in the future. It's probably a mean stock that will get some pumps and some dumps. But overall, I think that this stock is not viable. If you like this overview and this research I did on this stock, you can recommend some more stocks for me to research and I will do them and put them on my page. And if you like 
what I did today, please subscribe, share, and get informed. Okay?